I'm Cynthia Curluck. Welcome to the Everyday Workout. Let's begin by lifting our legs and arms out to the side. Continue to do this during the exercise break. I'll see you back for some stretching. Okay, come join me now. Have a seat either on a chair or on your couch. What we're going to do is concentrate on stretching out the back a little bit. In this position here, draw one knee into your chest. Now, if your knees are very solid, strong knees, place your hands here. If not, in this position here, sit nice and tall. Okay, I'd like to thank Allison Crow from Florida. She sent in an interesting little tip. If you are exercising in the family room or in any room where there is a fan overhead, be careful during the cardiovascular segment, okay? Don't exercise underneath the fan. Unless, of course, you need a manicure and then just... And especially if it's on, please take care. Sitting tall, this is the type of stretch you can do when you're seated at your desk at work. Okay, if your back is starting to feel a little taut. Okay, here we go. We're in this position here. And then place your chest forward. Bring your arms up to the side and stretch. Head is down, eyes are down in a neutral position. And then if you can, bring your arms back, clasp your fingers together and stretch out the chest region and drop your head. Today during our SOS segment, we're going to concentrate on the inner thigh. There will be two levels. Today's cardio segment is one level, low impact, release. Bend your elbows, back you come, roll up, round your shoulders, round your spine. Okay, come join me, let's stretch out our calves now. One foot in front of the other, work the back leg back, touch that heel right down, very important, and stretch up overhead with your hands. And arms reach. Enjoy the stretch, eyes at eye level. Down they come, same thing to the other side, stretch back. Touch your heel right down, very important. That's where you're going to get the stretch for the calf. This knee does not come out over the toe. It stays right in line with the heel. And work on your balance. Bring your arms up and stretch. Reach as tall as you can. And down you come. Okay, once again, use a chair. Draw your leg in behind your body. Okay, and hold it there briefly. Stretch the quadricep, the front of the leg. Remember, grab your ankle, never your laces or your foot. Grab your ankle. That stabilizes the knee joint. Leg is directly behind your body. Hold, and down you come. Same thing to the other side. And stretch the supporting leg. That knee is always bent. An interesting statistic for you. Did you know that the average person uses 12,000 rolls of toilet paper in a lifetime? Hmm, interesting. It's a lot of paper. Ah, one reason to be using recycled paper. There we go. Okay. Begin to step from side to side. Move your arms naturally. Let them come out to shoulder height. Big deep breaths, deep breathing all the while. Inhale, tummy comes out. Exhale, tummy goes in. Okay, and then the arms move. Bring them up if you can, up if it's comfortable. Right up and stretch, good. Palms face out. And if you're ready, let's count down to change our exercise. Spanish, one is uno. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, Nueve, Diaz, continue stretching out that calf region. Bring the heel forward, drop the hips directly down. Flex your feet, flex, flex, drop the hips. Fingertips resting on your waistline. Shoulders in line with the hips, very important. Head is back, not leaning forward. Good for you, you're doing a good job. So far, so good. Okay, count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one at chest height, reach and pull. Use your fingertips. There you go. Cute little joke to tell you. There were three men in a restaurant one day. A buddy's sitting there and uh, one gentleman says to the waitress, I'll pass the honey, honey. So the fellow beside him, not wanting to be outdone, says, I'll pass the sugar, sugar. So the third fellow thinks, ah, I've got them all. And he goes, I'll pass the tea bag. 
bag. Whoops, countdown to change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touch the toe back. Just a little touch. Okay, there we go. Eyes are forward. Now if your neck feels a little bit stiff, just push down there. Good for you. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Just simply push back, warm the triceps up, back of the arm region. There you go. Okay, now increase the arm movement. Push back. Push. Bring them forward slightly. There you go. Good. Now down to change. Let's try Filipino. One is Isa. Dalawa, Tatlo, Apat, Nima, Anim, Pitu, Walu, Siam, and Sampu. Step side to side again. This time a little more vim and vigor. Okay, you don't want to open up your stance wider than this. Reason being that can strain the knee joint. If you want to work harder, stay in that squat position. There you go. Down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one at the side of your body. Reach down, stretch down, push down, and then pull up. Good. Work around in the semicircle. Let's count down to change. Let's try Swahili. One is Moja, Mumbali, Tatu, Nene, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nahne, Tisa, Kumi. Now lift to the rear. Legs are together. Lift that back leg up behind. This is good. That's great. If you can, bring the leg a little bit higher. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Palms facing one another. Reach out at the side of your body. Keep the moves in nice and tight and close to the body. The further out you come with your arm movements and your leg movements, the more potential strain you're placing on various joints. Forward and back. Roll through and touch your heel each and every step. Great, you're doing really well. Keep moving. And let's count down to change in Italian. One is uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinc, sei, sete, otto, nove, and DC, legs apart, and lift. Still that spring in your step. Count down to arms. Each, me, san, she, go at the front, push down and pull up, work the triceps. Stretch and reach, elbows come to shoulder height, Okay, now, let's work to the left. And then to the right. And left. Little tiny lateral movements. Remember, the knee is not designed to do repetitive lateral movements. It can really strain that joint. There's no muscle to support it. Back to center, countdown to change. Let's try, should we try German? Okay, here we go. One is eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, seven, acht, neun, and 
Same. Lift across the body. Lift. If you have lower back problems, the lift is low, only to waist height. If not, up, up, up again. The stance is not a wide stance. No wider than shoulder height. Take care. Lift, lift. The lift is going to do the work. Good. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Out at a 45 degree angle. Then bring the hands, elbows, back to the waistline. Good. Stretch, reach. Please keep your hands shoulder distance apart. Good. Another joke for you. Hot summer's day, you know, I was driving down the road and I saw this fellow carrying a car door on his back. It's about 90 degrees out, I couldn't believe it. I felt really sorry for him, so I pulled over. And I said to him, I said, aren't you hot? And he said, oh no, I've got the window rolled down. Count out to change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one knee comes forward, touch beneath the bent knee. Circles if you can. Larger circles if you do not have any neck or shoulder problems. Keep your hands where your eyes can see them at all times. Very important. You don't want to strain the neck. If you don't have shoulder problems and neck problems, you do not want to develop them. Take care. Lift, lift. Move your bottom. Lift right up, good. Forward and back. If you're too winded when we count down, please leave out the arm movements. Just continue moving the legs. Largest muscle group in your body. There you go. And if you're ready, let's count down to change the exercise. Ukrainian, one is Oda. Dra. Tri. Shetri. Piat. Shist. Shim. Vishim. Davia, Dasia. Now back you go. Touch the heel down this time. Okay, the movement is back, not forward. Knee does not come out over that toe. Very important. Great for the bottom. Gluteus maximus region. And the hamstring. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Reach with both arms. Stretch, strong arms. Up to a 45 degree angle. You can reach with your fingertips or a clench and then push down to the side. Push. Good. We're into our last minute of exercise. Yes, it goes by very quickly. Some days. You're doing well. And here you breathe. Very important. Strong arms. Push back those arms. Push. Push. Good. If you're ready. We will count our last 10 in Swedish. From one to 10. One is et. Trove. Tre. Vera. Fum. Six. Shu. Ota. Nai. And Tai. Locate your pulse. Please keep moving. Count for 10 seconds. Okay, stop. Compare the numbers you've just counted to the numbers on our chart. That's a safe range. If you have health problems, hypertension, etc., your doctor may have a different range for you. Please check with him or her. Grab a sip of water. Keep moving. This is an exercise break. Cardio. Let's continue doing cardio. See you right back. Okay, what we're going to do in this position is we're going to concentrate on the inner and outer thighs. I would like you to stand near a wall, preferably, or use your couch, something very, very solid. I'm just going to use this chair. What I'd like you to do is you can stand and do this exercise, or you can lie down and do this exercise. But what I found was that for people who are overweight and carry most of their weight from the waist down, it's really difficult for them to do the exercise from a lying position, a supine position. So we're going to do this here. What we're doing here is knee is always in flex, always soft with the knee joint. We're just going to concentrate on bringing the leg up and down very, very slowly. You want to make sure that you're balanced, okay? That you're not leaning on that supporting leg, okay? So balance yourself. 
And now you'll notice that what less intense people do is they're lying on their side. Okay, and they're bringing the top leg up and down very, very slowly. If you're doing that level, follow her because she'll be doing the upper leg and then she'll switch to the lower leg. And then they will spin around and exercise the other side. So you follow her, okay? Up and down, very slowly, very controlled. Can you feel that already? I know, it's amazing. Small little exercise, but boy, does it make a difference. Right in through here, right in through that adductor region. Yes, I know. Keep breathing, stay tall. There you go, good for you. And this is the chance for you to daydream, maybe think about something else. Once you've got your technique down, okay, shoulders are back, still in line with those hips. Reason being, when you lean forward, what muscles are supporting your upper body? All of the weight from here up. It's the muscles of your lower back and your hamstrings, they're contracting, otherwise you would fall forward. So we don't want to strain those muscles. They get strained enough, especially if you sit at a desk most days. Okay, count down. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to switch to the other side. They're going to switch to the bottom leg. Okay, up and down. There. Now, when they were exercising the top leg, that was exercising the abductor, the outer part of the thigh. Then, now that they're doing the lower leg, it's the adductor, the inner part of the thigh. Okay, very slowly, very controlled. Lift up and down. Up and down. Deep breathing all the while. Inhale, tummy comes out. Exhale, tummy goes in. Okay. And if you're ready, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down you go. Now what we're going to do is work on the outer thigh a little bit here. Stand like so. Don't lean in. Please try to stand solid on that leg and just lift this foot out slightly up and out. If you want to apply some resistance, put your hand right here and lift. Just a small little lift. Okay, good for you. And stay tall with that supporting leg. He is always relaxed, both of our knees. Okay. Now, less intense people are exercising the other side. Very slowly, very controlled. And down. Now, if you want to work a little bit harder, maybe you're not feeling this, hold the leg up. And then when you bring it down, don't allow it to rest. And if you're starting to feel it, your muscles are starting to quiver, take a break. Shake your legs out and join back in when you can. Up and down. And let's count down. Five, four, three, good for you. Two, and one. Other side now. Here we go. Point and lift. resistance right there. There you go. Up and down. Now during the commercial breaks, we call them exercise breaks now. So what you can do is if you wanted to do tummy today and we didn't exercise our tummies, you're welcome to do some tummy work. But whatever you do, please grab a sip of water. Very important. Okay, now I need you to do 20 of these. Same thing at the low intensity level. Off you go. I'll see you right back. Great job. Promotional considerations provided to Canadian Rocky Mountain Spring Water, who supply the water for myself and our crew. For more information, please write P.O. Box 75209, White Rock, British Columbia, Canada, V4A 9N4. Okay, let's continue using our chairs, sofas, whatever you have available. Have a seat. Cross one leg over the other in this position here and then just simply lean forward. This is a good stretch for the hips and the thighs. 
Now remember, if the hips and thighs are your problem area, physiologically you lose weight from top to bottom. So you're going to lose it off your face, your upper body, your chest, your arms, your tummy, and then your bottom and hips and thighs. I know it's not fair. If I had one wish, <laughs> but unfortunately, but at least we understand and then that way we can be patient with ourselves. Just leaning forward until you feel the muscle stretching and then that's where you hold it, either in a neutral position, head in a neutral position, and then release, come back, same thing over to the other side. Okay, cross over, ankle comes up, open up, Stretch the adductor a little bit here, and lean forward. You never want to apply pressure near the knee joint. You know that now, but I have to keep reminding, because each day we have new people joining us, watching us. We want to make sure that everyone is exercising properly. All of the moves are kinetically correct here. There you go. Head is forward, eyes are forward. Stretch. Oh, I can feel that. If you'd like, what you can do is you can reach forward with your arms like so. Okay, and release. Let's work on stretching the adductor, the inner thigh region. Legs come out. Comfortable V-sit, and then simply lean forward. Support mid-thigh, and hold a stretch. Think long with your spine. Eyes are directly down. Head is in line with your spine. Someone is pulling a strand of hair stretch. If you'd like, you can reach out again. Hands are shoulder distance apart. And then roll up. Thank you so much for exercising with us again today. And then come forward. And wrap your hands around the back of your knees and hug.